Hey, media, we are joined by the University of Connecticut coach Dan Hurley and three student athletes. From my far left, we, we have Adama Sanogo, Andre Jackson Jr., and Donovan Klingen. And we will start with Coach Hurley with his opening comments. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, just, um, you know, obviously felt like we, you know, especially offensively, we're, we're playing relatively well in the first half. Um, you know, credit, uh, you know, credit, you know, Iona, they made some, I thought some really tough shots in, in the first half. I think, you know, Jean Louis, you know, we didn't expect him to make two threes. Um, you know, he had 11 at the half. You know, I, I thought we had, were guarding relatively well. They were making tough shots. We felt great at halftime. Um, we felt like uh, we, we were going to play very well in the second half. And obviously, we turned up our defense and, um, you know, 24 assists, nine turnovers. Uh, shot 60% from the field, second half. So just a big time effort. Bench was great. Um, starters were great, and um, obviously a big win. All right, we'll open it up now for questions for the student athletes. While they are here, please raise your hand, and we'll get a mic right to you. Yes, here at the front, left side. Adama Sonogo, seventh double double of the season. Season high in points. Mm -hmm. They took the three away from you, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know what to, uh, can you comment on your performance today, please? Uh, I would just say, you know, I, play, I just played hard, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I had a team that, like, uh, that was ready for me, you know, so they did everything possible to make us, like, win. So, that, that, like, uh, my, our mindset to, to this game was, like, playing hard. So, you know, I know, like, uh, if I play, I don't think like anything possible for me because I know like uh, I mean we like we have a good team, you know. We a team like anybody can, uh, anybody can, anybody can play good. So today was my nine, so I was ready for it, and uh, I'm happy. I was able to help my team and, uh, and play great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right here in the front row. Thank you, Ken Kratzer, Cam Vets Media. Just going to ask Donovan, uh, just a matchup against Nelly Jr. Joseph. Uh, you and Adamo, I think, combined for 40 points today. Uh, just tell us a little bit about the matchup uh, with Iona against Nelly Jr. Joseph and Ashima. Um, you know, coming into this game, we knew that he was good at getting position in the paint. Um, you know, he could make good moves in the, in the post. Um, so, you know, we just, the past four or five days, we've been working on, you know, frying the post and, you know, playing our best post defense. So, you know, you know when we were ready for the game today, um, you know, we we're just trying to be as dominant as we could be and, you know, attack the glass on both ends because, you know, we're both bigger than him. So, you know. Uh, Dave Borges, Hearst Connecticut Media. Um, <laughs> um, I, I forgot my question now. Jordan obviously struggled. Yeah. In the first half, did you guys, you know, what was said to him? Did anybody, anybody say anything to him at halftime? And how big was that? I, I assume it was a design play. I'll, I'll probably ask Dan as well. But um, coming out of halftime, the four-point play there, how big was that for him? I think it was big. I think uh, first half he had a little bit of trouble uh, getting, getting to his spots. But I think in the second half he, he put that behind him and really just changed his energy and his focus to team and, and off himself. And I think that helped us out a lot. And, he contributed, he contributed a lot to the win, so uh, hats off to him. Uh, far left front. Uh, Gavin Key from the London Davis for Andre. How, how much did your defense change in the second half? How much did you kind of ramp up the intensity? Uh, I felt like I played uh, similar in the first half on defense to the second half, but I think uh, as a team, I think the defense was just more disruptive. I think we had a lot of guys coming off the bench. Haas made a, a lot of disruptive defensive plays, and I think that uh, overall, we just we felt the desperation that we had to play with, and it was it was either us or them that was going to go home, and we had to put them away. So we knew the defense was going to be able to do their job. All right, left fourth row uh, for Andre and Adama um, to get that first NCAA tournament win. Does it feel like a bit of a weight is off? Right, definitely. You know, like uh, uh, like you said, you no, know, like uh, last last two years we lost our first game in March Madness, so we definitely coming to this game there was a little bit of pressure, but you know we didn't. We didn't think about it, you know, but we just got, for now, we just got our first win, so we just got, we got, we got to keep going, you know, yeah, we got to keep going. Yeah, yeah it definitely feels, it feels like a weight off the shoulders, and it feels like uh, we got past a marker that we kind of set, so it definitely feels like we took a step forward and, and we're ready to move on to the next one for sure. 
Joe, Joe Ruta Hartford current. Uh, Andre, I saw after Adama made his three, obviously changed back to a two, but you had a moment there at center court. You know, I looked up your show off the Connecticut on your jersey. Uh, what was it like to come back to Albany and play this game and come out the way that you did? And then what was that moment like there at the end? Honestly, it's just like I love to play for this school. I love to play for this coaching staff and everything that they've done to get us all to this point to be this uh, good of a team, honestly. Like all the work that we put in and I just really appreciate it. So that's really where the passion comes from for Connecticut, honestly. Fourth row, right side. Go ahead. Uh, Adam Schroeder from the Daily Gazette. Andre, uh, just uh, following off that, how did it feel to, to be able to back home on this court and uh, able to spot your family in the crowd? And I know they had a, a ton of people out there for you today. Mm -hmm. It felt good to see my family up in the stands. I tried to stay locked into the moment and, and really locked into what was happening on the court. I didn't really realize I was in Albany until after the game. So <laughs> feels good. Front row over here, left, and then we'll have one more after this. Uh, Mon Kid White from SB Nation. This is from uh, for Andre Jackson. Um, what was your mindset through the first half? You see Iona just playing really well, playing really hard. Uh, it's a close game. Uh, what were you thinking through that through that period? I think it was just a battle. It's honestly just staying in the game as long as possible. Just just keep throwing punches and just and just keep taking p punches and. We really just, once we picked our defense up, I felt like we were able to gain separation. I think that was the biggest thing is in this first half, we wasn't playing as good as defense. So uh, second half coming out, playing better defense, that really allowed us to get separation. And last one, fifth row right. Go ahead. Uh, PJ, any daily dose of hoops? Question for Donovan. Growing up in Connecticut, how much did you dream of this moment, winning uh, an NCAA tournament game uh, representing your uh, home state? You know, it, it's definitely a dream come true. Um, you know, I remember as a little kid watching UConn play and advancing the tournament stuff and just, you know, just dreamed of being there one day. And, you know, now, now to be here, get my first NCAA uh, tournament victory, you know, it means a lot to me, you know, but it'll mean more when, when we go all the way. Student athletes, thank you very much and good luck to you guys on Sunday. Now we'll take quote uh, questions for Coach Early. Uh, let's start back here, uh, the second to last row on the far right. Uh, Charlie okay. Parent, Zags Blaws. And uh, then Coach behind her. Thanks. Sorry. Ob Coach, obviously your bigs had a, ma a massive game today. Uh, are you confident that they can keep up that production against a St. Mary's team that you know rebounds maybe uh, is one of the best rebounding teams in the country? Yeah, I, th I think um, obviously we know what we're in for. You know, for St. Mary's to win, you know, the way that they won today, um, you know, obviously when you have, you know, a four seed and a five seed with very little separation between the two teams, you know, obviously the, the crowd w will swell by Sunday with uh, obviously a lot more Husky fans will now enter the building. But, you know, maybe not as big an advantage because they're such a veteran team. They're an older team. They're physical. Um, you know, we, we know that. You know, surviving Sunday is going to be an absolute war and a dogfight. Uh, right behind where he was. Thank you. But our centers have been really good this year when we've been really good. Easy to say now that you're on the back side of it, that you had to kind of go through the struggles that you guys went through to get to where you are. But as you were going through that, did you believe that you would see the other side of it all and be sitting here right now? The other side of like what? Of just winning this game today? Yeah, like, like just to get you guys were struggling and having heart, you know, just that you would get it right and, and get rolling in the right direction. Yeah, again. well, yeah, I think if you look at most teams' records, you know, they, most teams have lost six, seven, eight games, even the best teams. If you look at, you know, their overall record, we just lost a bunch of games during, um, you know, a really tight stretch. I think, if, again, I've said it, tough scheduling. The Big East is, is a monster, and um, I think all the teams all go through it. Um, you know, we had a half a coaching staff one game when a couple of us were out with COVID. You throw in a clunker at home against St. John's, and yeah, I mean, we, we know our quality. Um, just like St. Mary's and the better teams, we feel like we're, you know, as good as anyone to make a run in this tournament. And uh, we were very confident coming into this game. We, we you know, we, we knew if we played close to our identity that we'd be playing on Sunday. Okay, row three here. Dan, Mike Anthony with Hurst. Um, what went into D Adama's second half dominance? And also when he hit the long shot that they ultimately called the two, you had kind of a moment of relief. 
Bill Murray's dancing in the crowd. You turn <laughs> to the crowd. It seemed like a take a deep breath, enjoy yourself moment. What was that moment yeah. like, and what did you think of Adama in the second half overall? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean I, when we play well, I enjoy myself in home games. Don't know, you know, I wouldn't read too much into the relief thing. I was just so happy to see us, you know, on, on a big stage, you know, be able to transfer what we've been doing in the regular season. We've won, you know, the most games in the Big East the last three years overall. We have the best winning percentage of any program in the Big East. We were able to transfer that into the first round game of the NCAA tournament, which I'm excited about. Um, and I'm excited for the players that we get the chance to play, like in a bigger game. And I can't wait to see Luke Stat doing that. It's going to be awesome. Front row left and then two more over here. Gavin Keefe from the London Day, Dan. Uh, your bench contribution, how important was that? You seemed to get something from everybody Oof. who came in. Yeah, you know, I, you know, last year I think we were down 10 at the half, maybe, and we just played so bad. Whereas in the first half today, I thought we were playing well. They were making tough shots. And you know, I, I think we were, I don't know what Tristan and Jordan were from the field at halftime. It were, you know, I'm sure, 0 4. And, and Tristan was 1 4. So, or was it 0 for 9? Whatever it was. You know, so I, I think our bench kept us in it. And then we got the dominant. When we've been at our best, our centers have, 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 have devastated the other team because you know, obviously you have. A dominant player in, in Sonogo, and then and then you bring a dom, you know, an outstanding seven footer in. And when we're at our best, our centers are giving us you know thirty plus points and you know high double figure rebounds. <coughs> okay, front row, and that'll be it. Jaden Daly, Daily Dose of Hoops. Dan, to follow up on Adama's dominance, have you noticed this season more of a sense of urgency from him after maybe taking the failures of the last two years on himself? He's taking and making more threes. He's being more of a force down low. What have you seen from him? Yeah, I just, we grabbed him at halftime because he was pressing in the first half. I mean, he was, you know, he was hesitant. You know, he was, I think he carried the, the weight of, of, of getting us out of the first round. Uh, I think a little bit too much in the first half, and I think we that 20 minute halftime I think really helped because we, I mean, we basically talked to the team, you know, for the first like 12, 13 minutes about just we're right where, you know, we need to be right now. We're going to play much better. We're going to guard them much better. We're going to dominate the backboard. Dom, don't hesitate. Just go up and finish. There's no one that could deal with you down there, and I, I just think we got them to relax and perform, and the, the guards put them in great spots. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank you.